everybody, it's Pamela again at Ninja Skin Care. And today we're gonna to talk about sensitive skin. Because you know, people think, oh, I have acne, my skin is tough, it can take anything I put on top of it. I've gone through everything at the drugstore, all the dermatologists' prescriptions, and my skin still has acne, and, um, and therefore I don't have sensitive skin. But meanwhile, your skin has become a big red inflaming ball, and um, it hurts. When you smile, it cracks, and um, it's just not overall healthy and happy. So um, just because you have acne doesn't mean that you don't have sensitive skin. Mind you, there are some people who have acne who don't have sensitive skin, um, and we will talk about you guys later. <laughs> but in terms of the people who have sensitive skin, um, I guess sensitive skin would be synonymous with um, reactive skin, skin that becomes inflamed easily. Um, so if, you're, if you wash your face and your face kind of gets red or gets a little irritated, um, chances are you have some sensitive skin and we need to be very careful with what you, we put on your skin to make sure that um, we're not increasing inflammation. Because you know when you have acne, the last thing you wanna be doing is you wanna be causing inflammation on your skin because that makes your body produce more skin cells that then die off and get stuck and make new pimples. Not where you wanna be going. So, um, so in terms of sensitive skin, um, we have to make sure that when we give you the proper topical medication, some people are allergic or sensitive to benzoyl peroxide, even the 5% solution. So we switch them over to the sulfur formula. Some people um, are sensitive to the resourcenol in the sulfur formula. So we want to go ahead and take that out and then not use resourcenol on your skin. Um, pretty much in general, if you have sensitive skin, you should not use glycolic acid. Glycolic is from a sugarcane molecule and it can be a little inflammatory. Instead, we want to use salicylic acid, which comes from the willow tree, which is where as um, aspirin comes from. It's way more mild and calming and soothing to the skin. <clears throat> so um, those are some topical medications. But in terms of cleanser also, um, some people who are sensitive skin um, need uh, sulfate-free cleansers. So we have two. We have the uh, salicylic acid wash, and we also have the balancing cleanser. Those are both uh, sulfate-free or at least just using the mild facial cleanser, which doesn't remove as much of the oils off of your skin. Um, so those would be some of the tips that we have in terms of um, our products. But things that you can do every single day if you have sensitive or more reactive skin is clearly, obviously, avoid the sun. I mean, gee, how long was it gonna take me in this video to tell you to do that? Um, all of the videos I tell you. Um, because the sun does damage your skin. When you wash your face, don't scrub super hard. Just use the pads of your fingers or we use one of our facial sponges. Just something really mild. Don't have to be sitting there scrubbing your face to death. We want to keep everything really calm and, um, and sedate on your skin. Um, and then obviously, like I mentioned, using topical medications that just don't make your face turn red or get irritated. Um, those are the key things. Um, personally, you can make sure you get enough sleep. You drink a lot of water, eat a well-balanced diet, keep your body in the least inflammatory state. Of course, not having a huge sugar diet. Um, and, um, and exercise. So those are all things that you can do to help your sensitive skin. Um, and I uh, hope that helps you out. All right, hope everybody's staying healthy, staying safe, uh, staying sane. <laughs> and uh, until next time, take care, bye-bye.